Hey y'all, let me go ahead and show you guys how I got this real cute sleek ponytail using using these big rubber bands that usually come on like newspapers. So I took one of them and tied it around my hair. Um, it is pretty tight and then I try to just pin my hair over um, so that I don't have like a really, really big puffball. So I made like a baby puffball. So here I'm just going to brush the rest of my hair back. Um, so I can sleek that down as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just add some Style Factor Edge Booster to the front because this one actually lasts. I like this edge control, but then again, I don't because you know how Jam has like a oily residue if you use it on your edges. Style Factor, it just, it has no oil residue. I guess they're trying to prevent what Jam have going on. And it just makes my hair like really dry, but it holds. And it doesn't turn white like a lot of edge controls, but here and then, here and there, you will get like a white residue. So I put that all over my hair, and now I'm just gonna like brush out a little um, edges so I can swoop them. And then I just keep brushing the rest back, brush it, add jam, brush, add jam until I get it nice and sleek how I want it so now I'm going back with some jam to go over more so of my edges and I'm only doing this because I'm running out of um the style factor edge booster so I've really tried to use that only on my edges and use jam everywhere else so I was adding jam to like the ends of my hair so I could try to squeeze that into a ponytail <laughs> yeah this is what I have to go through with having such kinky hair and of course if your hair is thinner you don't have to do all these steps or if your hair is longer you won't have to do all these steps this is if your hair is like mine this is what you may have to do to get it sleek and not have 50 million ways by using gel or eco style gel whatever so here I'm just adding the edge booster to my edges because I'm back on my edges again so this is how I like to do my edges I like to you do them with a comb, you know, fumble with them a little bit till I get them how I like them. And, of course, this step is optional. You can just have a sleek back ponytail. You cannot add any um, edges or baby hairs, whatever you want to call it. It's up to you. But I wanted to add some, give it a little, you know, spice or whatnot. <laughs> but, yeah. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to go ahead and fix my edges. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and start my ponytail. Um, yeah, you could use jam for your edges, but it's not going to last. Style factor lasts, and you have like a chance that it doesn't turn white, but it's like a 10% chance that it does turn white. So here, this is the hair that I'm using. And I did go ahead and wash the hair so it is looking full. So you can tell the difference between a bundle that hasn't been washed and a bundle that has been washed. So I do recommend washing your bundle just to give it life. Just to, you know, make the curls pop and get bigger and thicker. Because you can finger comb it, but it's not going to get it as thick and full. Because if I wouldn't have washed it, then I would have had to use like two bundles. So since I washed it, I only had to use one bundle. So I'm just going to wrap that around and I like to use the open hair pins and just keep wrapping around until I get to the end. I don't use but too many hair pins because my ponytail is already tight and I don't want any hair pins stuck in my head and hurting and I'll be fumbling with it. So I just use a few and then take the end and wrap it around and put some jam around it so I can have like that little... Um, band around my ponytail but the first piece that I used was too small so I'm taking an even bigger piece from the back putting some jam on it and wrapping that around so if you do your piece too small just get another piece and do it again until you get it how you like it so now look at that nice sleek ponytail on my happy and nappy kinky coily hair so I'm just trying to fix my ponytail in the back. And this is pretty much the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And this is more so my updated routine on how I sleek my hair back. Um, I'm pretty sure in six months it's going to change from now. It all depends on what type of hair you have. And 
of course how long you're trying to keep your style this is only going to be in my head about a day or two so um, I didn't use any spritz but if I was going out or I wanted it in longer long key hair so this hair was sent to me by long key hair they also sent some long